it makes me appreciate how hard people worked back then to make it easier for us to use things today. Just knowing like what they had to go through and what like like because they had to make their food and then knowing we have our food made for us. And yeah, and so much time they spent working on it, but now that we, because of them, we can just go to the store and buy our food. We live in a different time. A lot of the things that, that we do today, they did back then, they just did it in a different way that required a little bit more manpower. We get to learn how to make mud bricks, we get to grind uh, oats to make uh, oat flour, and we got to our names in. Uh, chalk and we got to write it in clay tablets and it's super cool. Yeah, I like history, it's super fun and it's different being outside. One of the things that as history teachers we talk about is that we want history to be a story. We want it to come alive and so with all of our units we want to create something where it's, just, it's a hands-on activity where they get to experience what it might be like to live during that time. It makes me appreciate how we don't have to make bricks like that and they have like of factories and stuff to do that. It shows you like how natural resources, you can use that to make the things that we have today. With our River Valley civilizations, we go through four distinct cultures. And so we take one piece of that culture and we just say, hey, we want you to do something that they did during that time. You know, grinding grain. You know, they buy a loaf of bread at the, you know, at the store and they just assume that that bread just magically appears there sometimes. You know, uh, not knowing that, you know, you had to grind that by hand uh, the way that they write. You know, we have, you know, paper, pencils, uh, things like that, and we just go to a store and get more. Well, no, you know, they wrote in clay. Uh, you know, they drew in hieroglyphics where they had to carve out in stone. You know, all the bricks that we have on our buildings, you know, they had to make each one of them and dry it out by the sun. It's important that we help them get excited about the subject. And it's not just, you know, you know, learn this date or learn this person. You know, what did they do? What does it mean to us today? What does it mean? What did these people show us uh, to allow us to get to where we are today in society?